Hey, this is Rush. In this video, we are going to talk about order fulfillment. So when you get an order for a product that you imported to your store using our push to store feature, this is the page you would come to on Sellatrend to one click fulfill your order. So the first thing that we need to do is if you have not already connected your AliExpress account to sell the trend, we're going to need to do that first. So you're going to see this notification here saying that in order to fulfill orders, you need to connect your AliExpress account. So let's go over here, click on that button, and you're going to get to the screen uh, on AliExpress. Now, uh, all you have to do is just kind of log in, click authorize. So once we click authorize, and now you are connected. So that's it. That's all you have to do to connect your AliExpress account to sell the trend. So let us go to again back to my orders page. And as you can see, this message here will be gone and you're ready to fulfill these orders. So let's go through and fulfill this order right here. Let's click on order all products. And this is going to give us a summary screen of exactly what we are uh, doing. So the main thing that you have to kind of look at here is what are your shipping options for these different products? This particular product ships from the United States. So we have U.S. shipping available for us. For some of these products, they ship from China. So they'll have their own different shipping options. Depending on the supplier, we'll have a lot of shipping options. Some of these might have six or seven shipping options. Some of them will have one. So once you've chosen your shipping options, all you have to do here is click on place order. Wait a couple of seconds. And that's it. Order placed, pay for your order. And now it is ready for us to uh, pay for the order. So now we've actually sent all this order information over to AliExpress. We've sent the, our customer's address, all that information to AliExpress. And now we have to go and just finalize it by paying for the order. And let's click on this pay for the order button here. So the first thing that I would do here, instead of paying for every single one of these items separately, which you can do over here, all you have to do is you click on this awaiting payments right here. Click on pay for selected orders and it will come up here. It will have your credit card information. Once AliExpress confirms that the payment went through successfully, the screen will change to this. It will basically, instead of saying pay for your order, it's going to say get tracking code. And that's basically at the stage where we are just waiting for the supplier to ship out the item and for them to provide the tracking code for us. Once you click on this button right here, so tracking code not fun. Obviously, we just put the order through. But if you wait a little bit of while, and then once a supplier ships it, then when you click on this button, it will find the tracking code, it will fulfill the order, and it will send out the email to your customer with the tracking information. Now, a couple of other things that I wanted to mention here. Let's take a look here at, at this, this line item here for this order. So another feature that we also added here that gives, is going to give you a little bit more flexibility when processing orders uh, is the ability to map uh, item. So what is this? Uh, what does this feature allow us to do? So as you can see here, this particular variant is uh, color green and uh, ships from China. So that's what uh, what this variant uh, name here says. This order is shipping to the United States. So this gives us uh, the ability to, to show uh, what we can do here with the mapping. So let's open up this uh, this mapping panel here. So that now is going to load up our our pro our actual variations on the left. And on the right is going to show us all the variations that are available from the supplier for this product. So if we go down here and look for green China, that is the variation that the customer picked. But since the supplier, as you can see here, also offers United States shipping, what we can do is we can remap this variation on the fly right here to allow us to ship this product from the United States and then see what different shipping options that gives us. So let us go here and let us choose green United States. We'll go here to the bottom, click on remap variations. And what that's going to do now is going to allow us to see the United States parcel service shipping option here, which does four bucks. So Right away here on the fly, we were able to remap this particular order to ship from the United States, even though, as you can see here, this variation originally would ship from China. So let us go back to here and let's just see how to remove this mapping. Let's say we don't want to do this. We want to actually just go back to the original way that the order was created. Okay, so let us cl click on this button right here that says clear mapping. 
And what that's going to do is going to reset back uh, the order to exactly the way it was originally. As, and as you can see here, we have a lot more shipping options here because this item is coming from China now. It gives you a lot more shipping option, but there's no US shipping option, obviously, because this variation right here ships from China. So this is one, one thing that you can do here with this mapping option to kind of give you some more flexibility when processing the orders. But another thing that this will allow you to do, as you can see, is that if for whatever reason you are offering multiple variation, multiple shipping options for this product, and you have a customer that, for example, picked green United States as a, as a ship from country, but you were, they were actually located in, let's say, France, and that particular variation would not ship to France from the United States, you can fix these kind of issues where, you know, over here, you would not have any shipping option. It will say, you know, sorry, this, this product doesn't ship from this country. Then you can fix up those kind of situations where, you know, you're offering uh, multiple shipping options, uh, but the customer's country doesn't, doesn't allow uh, shipping from that variation. Uh, so that gives you the kind of flexibility to resolve uh, those kind of um, issues as well with orders. Okay, let's look at another thing here. Uh, let's click on this customer um, address here. So there's gonna be situations where uh, the customer does not provide uh, a phone number at all over here. And obviously all orders going to AliExpress require a phone number. So we've always given uh, the ability to, from the settings here, so if we go to settings, you can always provide an override phone number. So this is a phone number that will automatically get replaced for all orders going out. And you can put your phone number here, you can put you know any kind of phone number in here, and that will automatically replace all customer phone numbers with that phone number. Now, that's always been good to kind of make sure that there's always a phone number there. But in a situation like this, let's close this one more time. In a situation like this, now with this new system, adding your own phone number to certain countries, for example, in this, in this address situation here, the country is France. There are certain requirements for certain countries to have phone numbers that have a particular format. So in this, in this instance here, France requires a 10-digit phone number that starts with 06 or 07. So since our phone number here, which is the 202, has been overridden and automatically being inserted in here, that's obviously going to cause an issue. So we've added this extra feature here that allows you to only override customer phone numbers if the phone number is missing. So once you click on this and you click save, if we go back here and we close this and reopen it again, uh, as you can see here, our phone number, even though we had an override phone number over here, will not be used. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process to fulfill orders using Sell the Trend.